The start page in Safari has been redesigned here in macOS Big Sur. It's customizable now, and we can also add our own background image. Up in Safari Preferences, we can set the start page to display when we open a new Safari window or a new tab. Currently, I have my favorites, the privacy report, which is also new, and my reading list displayed on my start page. There are also a couple iCloud tabs displayed here from sites that I have open over on my iPad. Favorites represent the favorites folder here in bookmarks. If I add a site into here, it will then be displayed on my start page. It's also possible to drag and drop from the sidebar directly onto the start page. Right click on a favorite and we can then open it, rename it, edit its web address, or remove it from favorites all right here from the start page. Next, we have the new privacy report. This will show us how many and what trackers have been blocked and from what websites. Almost every website has some sort of tracker to know how many visitors the site is getting and from where. Or it could be an ad or shopping tracker. What Safari does is prevent those trackers from following you from site to site. If a website has a lot of trackers that turn up on this report, it doesn't mean something nefarious is going on. Here on ESPN.com, there are multiple trackers for Google Analytics and ad services, Facebook, and many others. It's nice to know that Safari does its best to keep these trackers from following you everywhere on the web. In the Privacy tab of Safari Preferences, it's possible to deactivate cross-site tracking, although I'm not really sure why you would want to. The reading list can also be displayed here on the Start page. This is going to display your full reading list, not only unread items. Again, we can right or control click to open or remove a reading list item. Click on the Settings button in the lower right, and we can set what will be visible on our Start page. Currently, I have everything turned on, but frequently visited sites and Siri suggestions aren't appearing because I don't use this browser often enough. Just uncheck a box to remove an item. And at the bottom, notice we can add our own background image to the Start page. We're able to choose from one of the presets available here, or click on the Add button to choose your own image from the Finder or from your Photos library. So this new Start page is both more useful and customizable than we had in Safari previously. Next up, we'll look at the new Website Translation feature available in Safari.